Okay, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to the stream. And we're starting a new game today. We're finally gonna do new Mechia. Kind of had to break a little bit for a while. Had a lot of stuff I had to do. So yeah, but uh, we're back again. So let's get going here. So we're gonna play as new Mechia this time around. Hopefully everybody's okay with that. It's kind of the point of the stream. <laughs> so we're gonna play new Mechia, and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. So. Yeah, I only really have like three left, so there's only three left uh, to do. There's Kirlian, Nuomechia, and Ascaras, and I think I have to press like L1 and R2 and, and start and select, I think, to get Ascaras. So, I'll start up a Nuomechia uh, game here today and get through it. Yeah, it's been a while, so... We're going to get into it. We're going to complete it today. We have a bunch of challenges, too. If you want to check out the challenges that are listed down below, you can. I probably should grab my uh, notepad just to make sure I'm seeing them all right so I don't screw any up immediately. But, um, yeah, we're going to get through the game. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, New Mechie is kind of a good country to play as, uh, believe it or not. It's got a lot of um, variety with its knights. Some of its knights are really, really good for the game. So... We'll get this going. We'll get through it. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. I know end of December, uh, I'm going to have to take a break for a while. So I won't uh, I won't be here for a little while at the end of December. So, you know, I'm going to start this up. We'll go through the middle, you know, middle of next month. And then um, I just kind of have to take uh, after the vacation I have to do. So, you know, kind of needs to happen. But, um, so, yeah, pretty much, we're going to get through this game. <laughs> it's going to be kind of interesting, though, uh, because, you know, I don't play Nuomeki that much. I do like Nuomeki, but I don't play that much. Yes, thank you, Jack. So, yeah, pretty much just the whole beginning here. A lot of people have seen this before. If you haven't seen this, um... And you kind of want to know what the game's about. I can I can go through it and tell you what the game's about. But pretty much, uh, Zemeckis portrays uh, his king here. Kador influences him, and uh, they kill the king, and then they go out, you know, search and kill everybody else that's uh, part of royalty to take over the whole. We're gonna see it anyways. <laughs> I don't have to explain. I'll show you. Where's Lance? Thanks God. Thank God you survived. Garrett, what's going on? There's rebellion going on. They have already occupied the castle. It's dangerous to be here. We should leave right away. Please come with me. There you are, Prince Lance. General Zemeckis, I'm glad you're all right. Zemeckis. Prince Lance, please stay away from me. He is the cause of all this. What? I can't let anyone from the Omekia royal family live. Prince Lance, you must die here. Your father is waiting for you in heaven. My father? What have you done to my father? King Hengist was killed by Death Knight Kador. No, father, the can't be. Zemeckis, you're a traitor. This is for my father. You cannot kill me with that technique of yours. It's time to have... <laughs> it's time for you to have your head cut off. Take this. Prince Lance, watch out. It's a little better with the cutscenes, you know, from the Grand Edition. This part is like, I don't know, trying to act out <laughs> cutscenes with... Wham! Boom! It <laughs> just brings, sort of brings me back to, you know, the old Batman episodes. Princess, please listen to me. You said we have lost our king, our country, and even our, our castle, and even our country. However, there are things you can only obtain by staying alive. Your courage is to move on without losing yourself, in spite of all the difficulties I've dishonored. So go! Garrett, I can't do it. I can't leave you like this. Well, this makes it easier to kill you both die. Clank. <laughs> they should have at least... Uh, some of the Japanese stuff did add a few sound effects here and there uh, in the Grand Edition. I don't remember if they're in here. They might be, but I don't remember where. However, I believe that you can put it into all this. Red Science, you're the genuine successor of Elmechia. It's your duty to restore peace, to bring peace and order by restoring the kingdom. I understand what you're saying. However, we have lost everything, and I have nothing left. For now? 
You will find a way if you don't give up. Be strong, Prince Lance. I'll take over here. Sir Garen, take the prince and run. Thank you, milady. Let's go, Prince Lance. Okay. I won't give up. I'll become stronger, and someday I'll return. King Cole Padstall has always been loyal to him, Mikey. I'm sure he'll help us. I think I'd read more, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think my, my throat's up for it right now. I'll just kind of, like, I'll just let you, you know, you can read it when you want to, but... And it's interesting how I have Norgard's music playing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not their time yet. John Martin. Yes, much stronger. Yes, we will become much stronger here. Thank you for jumping in here, dude. How are you doing today? So, yeah, basically, uh, according to the game, this is technically the starting country that you can start as. Uh, but the box cover art for the game is Norgard, so it's a little confusing. I think some people think it's Norgard as the starting country, but technically this one is kind of where it starts with, and this is sort of the beginning of everything, you know? At least that's how I see it, you know? Because it's the first country you start as, you know, when you get the chance to pick, you know? <laughs> Once I get through this, then the music will change. I don't know what's wrong with the music, but it's not. It's not the correct music right now. We'll, we'll get to that, too. So... Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Some of the challenges are pretty cool. Uh, one of them is to level up Elsans to like level 20. One of them is to have an all ninja uh, all ninja team. So I'm gonna have to wait till I get Saraha for that, obviously. Uh, but I can build an agility team. You know, even still, one of them is to try to get a whole team of scorpions. So I'll be doing that too. Uh, another one is to level up a to get a talus. So the talus is gonna be. Oh, that's, that's going to take forever to get that thing. So, literally level 30. So, I I did it long ago, but I don't remember anymore. <laughs> like, I've done Talus for the Grand Edition, you know? He bought this game back in 98 and was confused by that killing cover boy. <laughs> I know, I know. Exactly. Uh, I can actually show you, uh, if you go to the Burkine website that uh, I built, it's down below, the link's down below. Uh, it's the last surviving website for Burgundine, and uh, there's all kinds of art in there, and I think I put all the art in there that I have. So, some other people added some more art and stuff too, but there is box cover art for some of the Japanese stuff that has uh, Haley, Kador, and I think Lance on the cover too. So there is some other box, cart, box art for it too, and uh, yeah, you can go check that out if you want. Uh, there are moderators for it, though, so when you try to log in and you try to get in and you, you want to apply for the, the website, you just got to wait for somebody to accept you. Uh, if you're a serious Burgundy player, some people come by and they're just like, I don't know why I'm here, and they get rejected, but I mean, if you don't know why you're in the website and you want to belong, then maybe you don't belong. <laughs> so, but yeah, there's a lot of people that joined. We're actually getting close to 400 members, which is really cool. Um, at least last time I checked. But there's real moderators there, too. So if you want to join the site, you can go there. Join a site. You can uh, uh, get a, um, you can get my my copy uh, that I built, a Grand Edition, with English added to it. And that was done by somebody else, but um, I put it together, so it's free, free to uh, play and use. Um, but this is one of the classics. Everybody loves this game particularly because the music is really good. Uh, it's what most people grew up with, you know, just like back in 98, you were, you know, you got, I got the game fresh too myself. As soon as it came out, I got it. I think I got it the same time I got Tactics. I was kind of in a, uh, sort of a chess mood at the time, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics. I think it was Tactics. Or else it was Final Fantasy 7. I, I, I might, might be flipping those two, but, um, all right, so basically here, we're gonna have to go through the game. I have to put together a team. So the teams are gonna be really a little bit wonky because one of the other challenges is to not level up Lance until he's a king. So that's gonna be a good part of the game. And I don't think I could level Lance up to 30 at that point because it's gonna take some time for me to 
move down to Escalio, take that over with Carleon, and then move back up to Ascaris. I mean, I could go after Ascaris right away, but that's a little bit trying. Like, I, I would literally have to have Norgard help me out, like a ton, or Escalio, or anything, but the, the best way that I can imagine doing this is to go on a strike down to Escalio, block off Aston, and let Kirlian come up to the Empire's territory and help me out. And then if I hold Logres, boom, I'll have it. So that's sort of the plan. That's kind of the plan, but we have to set up a team, and I, I can't have Lance fight until then. So Lance is literally going... And it, the, part, the ch part of the challenge that kind of sucks is you can't quest Lance. So he's just kind of sitting there on his thumbs, you know, not doing much. Um, but uh, that's, that's the challenge I accepted, so... We'll go ahead and do that. So let's try to set up a team here. Uh, let's see, where's Lance? Okay, so I'm gonna have to set up two teams. Garant's really good. I would love to level up Lance right now, but that's not, that's probably not gonna be the thing. I think we could, Garant, Cole, Melgan are probably the best for the, you know, team-wise and stuff. But I would like to get, I'd like to be able to move out a little bit better, and you know what? Melgan's already level 20, so he could be pretty good on defense. So could Garrett too, but Garrett is um, Garrett's really good for offensive stuff. So I think I'm gonna bring him out on an assault with me, and I'm just gonna leave a defensive team on the north for now until I can reposition things, and. I'm going to put my Salt team on Orkney and go out from there. And as soon as I start my move, then I'll bring my team back because I want to keep at least five castles to start. I don't want to lose the castle right off the bat, you know? So I guess I'm going to go... If I'm going to go on the Assault, I'm going to need to take certain things with me. I think a Salamander would be good. I'm definitely going to have to take the Stone Golem, but I'll probably leave the Nightmare. So let's go... Let's go do this. Alright. Okay, that's nice. That's pretty good. Uh, Clay Galm will go over here. You know, I could bring Carlotta. And Carlotta would actually be pretty good to help me out, you know, with my offense. So I think I'll leave Melikant on defense. Uh... I really want to bring a Nightmare, but i got to leave some good monsters here, too, for defense. Otherwise, it's going to suck. Okay, so Adelicia, Melligan, and I think maybe Bruzum might be a little more effective here. Yeah, he doesn't have the rune, but I think it'd be a little more effective here. So probably leave that as a defensive team. Um, unless I want a healer. You know, I don't know. Maybe I should have a healer with me. Maybe Adelicia, Milligant, and uh, Ophelia. I think maybe that. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. That's really cool. Did you know what I said earlier today? It's freaking awesome. I also really used by the fact it was a double wide jewel case for no apparent reason short of the poster and clothes. I know. I know. That's really interesting that they did that. I think because they threw in the book, the manual was so thick, maybe they had to. Uh, that could be the reason, and, you know, that's that's the only thing that comes to mind, you know, because the manual is, it's not really thick, but, you know, it's like, it's like that thick, so it's like, uh, a couple centimeters, um, yeah, it's, it's a decent size. So, we have to build a scorpion team, too. Now, I don't want my secondary team to be a scorpion team. I think I'll make a third team be the scorpion team but we'll slowly charge them up and build them up for that so that, you know, uh, we got something to work with here. So that's going to be interesting, too. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the site, John. Uh, anything you want to know there, go ahead and post. You know, make, it, make all kinds of, you know, talk to all kinds of people. There's tons of things on there to talk about with other people. There's a lot of people that are talking randomly here and there. I know the game is technically 20 years old, but there's still people that do talk and are still part of the conversation there. So, um, yeah. It actually took me a while to put it together, too, so 
uh, put a little bit of love into it if you didn't, if if you noticed. Hopefully you noticed. <laughs> But, let's see here, so, okay, so I want, um, let's see, what to do, I wish you could have a bigger team than this, I really wish you could, oh, you know what, for moving out, I could easily get, oh, I could easily get the Miguel. I could easily get the Rand family here if I take Legel with me. That would be a really easy grab. Pretty easy grab. Polar plays. Hey, thanks for following. How you doing today? How's it going? Good sir. So, we have to figure out where's, who's going where. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Thank you very much. We're going to get through the whole game. And hopefully no blunders. Usually there are not many, if any. Protect could work, but I just I don't want the giant here right now. I'd rather have something else. Can I get a 65 somewhere. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, hey, how you doing here? How's it going today? Ooh, I could get a Wyvern. Wyvern would be better. All right, I might grab a Wyvern. Exchange that. Uh. I am also just Polar Plays. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to follow me or you want to subscribe to me on Twitch or YouTube, whatever you feel like, it's perfectly fine. I'm live on both sites right now. Uh, so, as long as it's running right, if you have any complaints about anything, let me know. I'll have to fix it. But, looks like everything's good so far. So, Gonna figure out some teams here. This is always interesting because New Omeki has great knights to start with. And it's always a little confusing to me as to what to do because there's so many there's so much variety. It's not like Kirlian is mostly mages, uh, Norgard is mostly tanks. Um, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's a little difficult to figure out really the best plan for this, you know? <laughs> but, uh, alright, so. Let's figure out who's going where. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use the fall much. I might quest him immediately. Alright, let's move them over here. Garrett, Cole, and Carlotta will be the strike force. And then Meligant is going to play some defense over here. Uh, let's see what else. Actually, I think for the third team, I think Bruzum should probably just wait right here. I think Bruzum should probably stay. So let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna go quest Batterkiss though. So Batterkiss is going on quest. I tested the PC a few times this year on YouTube and Twitch, but not in 420, maybe next year. Uh, yeah, well, I've got it set to... Let's see what I have it set to. Oh, I'm, I'm at 1920 by 1080, so that's still pretty good. You know, I, I guess it's probably pretty good. I think I need to change some of the lighting in here because I, I just moved something around. The lighting's not where I wish it was. Maybe if you turn that a little bit, get better lighting. But other than that, I mean, it looks pretty good right now, you know. So, yeah, and it mostly Twitch runs at 720 anyways. They just like to do that. Just easier for everybody. Alright, 
we're gonna quest you out. Uh, let's see where we're sending everybody to here. All right, so Lance is gonna stay there for the time being. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Do that, do that. Yeah, I want Carlotta to come with me. Uh, Bruso. I guess we'll wait for you right now. That's fine. Uh, Ophelia's there, and Alicia, Melligant. Okay. I think I have to order from Melligant, though. Um, let's see. Can I order something? Let's see what we can order. Oh, a lot of good stuff. Okay, so that is 70 points right there. Okay. You know what? Two centaurs is great. Yep, that'll be good. That'll be really good. We'll need a little bit of range for that. So, yeah, I guess that'll do it. That'll have to do it for that. I don't think I need any more. Just wait one turn, and we'll be able to rock and roll. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the Salamander, we're gonna bring the Stone Golem into the fight. Uh, Salamander's gonna be great so that, you know, we can stay alive, obviously. And we've got to level this guy up all the way to a Talus. <laughs> Always thought LaFalle would be a great knight as a high level, but New Omeki had so many awesome knights to use. A man paladin. Yeah, I hear ya. I do hear ya. Uh, one of the other challenges was to level up El Sans to, like, level 22. So, I can't remember who gave me that one, but, um, you know, we'll work on El Sans as soon as, as soon as I get to become king, and we'll level them up side by side with Lance. So Lance and Alsace will level up side by side. That'll actually be kind of fun to see, you know, how they grow together. Uh, let's see about equipment, though. I think I might... I might have... Oh, wait. I, I think I definitely have an item here. Life potion. Oh, okay, good. You know, since we're going into battle immediately like this, I'm going to need my leader to have a good amount of hit points. So I'm going to give it to Garen, actually. I want Garen to be up there, you know? Alright. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. And I keep messing up the buttons because I'm playing Grand Edition right now on the weekends <laughs> with other friends in the Grand Edition, the button um, circle is confirm, X is cancel. So when you play here, X is confirm and Circles cancel sometimes, triangles to end too, so it can end like the start and selector mixed back and forth. Uh, I could change it myself, but I just haven't done it yet, so. Alright. Uh, we can't attack, so we're just gonna leave that. Better kiss quests, flower girl. Alright. Got two strength points. It's good stuff. Good stuff, Lufal, Dwarf, Mushroom! Did you get something, dude? Uh, I guess we'll find out. It went too fast, I don't even know. A shield? Was that a shield? I think it was a shield. King Kai and Princess Mary to Carilion are here to see you. It's good to see you again, Prince Lance. It's been a long time. It's very nice to meet you, Prince Lance. I'm King Kai's sister, Marriott. It's nice to see you again, King Kai. It's nice to meet you, Princess Marriott. Prince Lance, you know very well that Carolion has always been loyal to Omekia, and that has not changed even in the time of war. You're here to just let you know that. Thank you so much, wise king. I'm so glad to hear that. Of course, this war was ignited by Iskaris, but the movement has spread through their land. Iskaris is the main threat for the time being, but it's a matter of time before Norgard from the north and Escalier from the southwest begin their invasion. You should be aware of what they do. Norgard, that's right. Iskaris is not our only enemy. Thanks for your advice, so keep that in mind. It was really nice to see you again. You too, thank you for coming to see me. I'll fight the Empire in my own way. I wish you good luck. Miss Lance, come and visit Kirlion when the war is over. We have great seafood and delicious fruits. Thank you. I look forward to it. 
We better get going again. Good luck. Miss Lance, promise me you'll take care of yourself. All right, the beginning of the alliance. There we go. All right, let's just make sure we have everything set the way it, it probably would be great to have. Okay, so I've got five points there. I've got 20 points on top. Oh, I should have kept the scorpion here. Well, can I get one? Let's see if we can get one. Or, here, better yet, let's see... 55, 60. home how's it going? <laughs> how's it going, Hillholm? What's up? How goes it, sir? It goes very well. Good, sir. How's your day today? Let's see. I, I gotta try to fix this one. I could probably flip this, but that doesn't... That does do me some good. Okay, good. So I got 25 here. I have to get... Uh, scorpion, or... Uh, nope, can't get any of that. So yeah, we're doing a new Omekia thing today. That's what we're doing. You're pumped. New DLC for Battle Brothers is out tomorrow. Now, I just need time to play it. Battle Brothers? I don't... What's that about? I uh, haven't kept current. <laughs> sort of had a, a pretty good break <laughs> for a while. So, yeah. I needed it, though. I really needed a break. You know, I had a lot of stuff I had to do. Finally got things taken care of, you know? But, um, is that like a Smash Brothers thing? I don't even know. I have no idea. Just been sort of doing a lot of stuff around town, you know? Taking care of stuff, seeing family, that sort of thing. Man, I really want to bring her along to the battle, but... You know, maybe I'll take her anyways, and if the battle looks like it's going to consist of fighting Castor or Miguel, then I'll throw her into the battle. I think that's probably a good idea. Don't you think? And in that way, I can get them, because I'm not really going to use her too much. I could level her up and all that sort of stuff, but Ophelia is really good. I, I would prefer to... Ooh, that's right. Let's not forget this. Let's just not forget... We have to go immediately to Enchantress here. Because we don't... It's awesome here because you don't lose MP or... Well, you gain MP in Grand Mission, but you don't lose it here. So, you know, it's... It's pretty nice. Battle Brothers turn-based strategy for battles with a randomly generated open world of honor. There's a low fantasy setting, so little to no magic, and you run a mercenary company where your troops sometimes... Dying is better than surviving with things like missing fingers, eyes, nose, brain damage. What? So it's almost like a realistic game in that sense? Like, if you lose a hand, well, you're sort of a paraplegic for a while and you can't, like, go very fast? No, I don't mind the wall of text. I'll read it. You know, it's no big deal to me. But, uh... Yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. I kind of thought... You know, they might make a game like that at some point. They probably already have, I just never saw it before. You know, the point of the game is to get to be a super famous mercenary company. It's pretty hard, but also, that's pretty cool. I, now you're making me think of the game Mercenaries. I loved playing that game when I was younger. I don't know if you ever played Mercenaries. You get to be a mercenary and you get to go and, you know, go in military vehicles, do particular jobs. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, but like you have a little higher moral standards. To some degree, <laughs> instead of Grand Theft Auto, is you basically do whatever the hell you want. Um, but Mercenary, you got to play, you got to drive in tanks, ATVs, get this. Those missions were so much fun. And the point, of the, yeah, that that sounds pretty interesting. That sounds pretty interesting. It sounds like a, a new take on uh, the old Mercenary game. I don't know if you ever played it. It's an older PlayStation game, you know. Mercenaries, Jagged Eyes, Silent Storm, XCOM, Command, I played a ton of... That, yeah, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, I remember a little bit of XCOM, Silent Storm... I played a lot of Ghost Recon. Uh, the new Ghost Recon is actually pretty cool, but I didn't pay for that, so I don't have it. I almost wish I did, though. I almost wish I would have gotten the new... Um, uh, the Ghost Recon, I think it's like... Wilds, uh, Wilderland, I, I don't know what the hell the name is, but it's a new one out on PlayStation 4, you know? 
Uh, plus you got Final Fantasy Tactics, o Tactics Ogre. I do have Tactics Ogre, and I, I put it on there in um, a different kind of uh, emulator that I can use. I don't know if I did it right, though, because I think I put all the discs into one. I don't know if that was the right way to do it. But I, I've seen it. Ogre Tactics looks interesting, but I haven't fully played it yet. You know, Final Fantasy Tactics will be coming out live on my channel uh, pretty much after the multiplayer. So any suggestions for that, that would be cool, too. But uh, Sound Storm is alternate history, World War II piece of game where everything is fully destructible. So also turn-based, and it's on good old games and Steam. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, I have Steam. I haven't tried good old games, but I have Steam. So, I don't know. The team looks pretty good so far. I don't think I have to change anything. I think everything's... I think everything's fine. Let's just go quest them out. Let's, let's do some battle here, so... Not waiting, waiting all day. <laughs> so, alright. Um, yeah, that sounds cool, dude. That sounds really cool. So here we are, beginning of the game. Hill home. I know everybody else probably saw it, but here we are, Hill home. We haven't done anything yet, so let's get let's get to doing something here. Okay. All right. Let's execute. All right. Okay. We'll just take them all. Might as well. I'll just take them all. I think I want to go this way right off the bat. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Ooh, that's that's gonna hurt a little bit. Uh, it might be easier to go here, but I have to get down to Carleon as fast as possible. I want to break this up. I want to break up this band over here. You know, I don't know if you saw Bohemian Rhapsody. Did you see Bohemian Rhapsody? This is an awesome movie. This is a really awesome movie. Just a random tidbit. I just just popped in my head, but uh, New Mackey is fun. But I profess. In love for Leoness, mostly so I can kill Drift first. Really? Okay. I'm more of an Escalio fan and a Norgard fan. Uh, I do like all the countries pretty equally, but if I have to pick leaders, I think I love playing as Drist and I love playing as Viner. Those are my two favorite um, knights, but as far as leaders, normal normal knights is Dinadan. Dinadan's my favorite knight overall. As you can probably tell by the picture. <laughs> Alright, so we're going in. Looks good. Let's go do it. Escalio's coming in. Okay. They're not going to win. What? They freaking beat Zemeckis? Uh, well, look at that. Look at that. I like the AOA magic spam. <laughs> oh, yes. The AOA magic spam is... is insanely good. I know, because in this game, you know, the American public knows Zemeckis is a total badass for this game. There's, you almost can't beat this guy, you know, hand, single-handedly. He's just, he's so freaking good. I know. Don't pick on my guy, Drist. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Drist fans. It's, it's so much fun to talk about the game, like, who likes what and, and all that. You know, who's, who's uh, favorite knight you like and all that sort of stuff. Oh, gosh. We gotta, we gotta speed this up here. <laughs> I gotta change that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, three. Battle scene on. Okay, swift, swift units on. I could do com versus com, but I don't know if everybody wants to see that. It's kind of fun. I used to play this game in, like... Like, every year at the end of the year, I'd play the game, I'd do com versus com, I'd play myself, but then I'd watch the com. It would take forever. But it was fun to see how they would play. Sometimes they would just do really random shit half the time. <laughs> it was not, not very intelligent, but it was kind of fun to see. Okay. Alright, here we go. This should be a little more to my liking. There we go. That's much, much better. I know, you almost never see that attack win. Because I was for certain, you know? Zemeckis, the first... You know, first battle, they attack him, he's on defense. Zemeckis on defense, sitting on a castle, and he leaves? That's insane. If you haven't played the game much, 
you'll know why we're all shocked by that, because Mechus has a crossbow, he can sit there, he can shoot you, his criticals are insanely powerful, he doesn't have to move, he can move and shoot, uh, he's basically the boss for this game, he's this game's boss, big boss fight, you know, Hill Home knows, everybody else that knows this game knows, and the fact that Iria beat him is, is still really cool. I like that. You know, it's really cool, but... Yeah, probably overextended a leader and it got swarmed. Yeah, well, the one leader got got killed, but still Zemeckis could still stick it out, you know? The, Zemeckis could have stuck that out. For, absolutely, for certain, he could have definitely stuck that out. Alright, so we're gonna plant you right there. I'm gonna have to get you up into here. Let's see here. I want to get I want to get some of these little centers out to play. We'll get you out here. We're gonna have to defend this corner because I can't have them taking up my centers that easily. Oop! Here we go. <laughs> and don't be blue. <laughs> I know. Well, she is blue too. He could have he could have killed her very easily. You know. I think she could. Well. She probably could do about a good amount of damage, but she has the black spear. If she had the, if she had her natural attributes, she'd do a little bit better, you know. <laughs> Sorry, John, over on, on, uh, on YouTube, but Drist is nuts. I mean, he's fun. He's just crazy. Yeah, he is a little crazy, a little nutsy, but he keeps things fun, you know. <laughs> That's how I see it. He keeps things fun. Now, if they would have extrapolated a little bit more on what happens after Drist says his line after they win, like, was he joking or was he serious when they go and conquer again? I mean, it seems like he does extreme sarcasm. That's how I pick up on it. Like, I think Drist is a little more into a very extreme sarcasm. He could be serious, though. But it, to me, it's hard to say. You know, I just see him as a very, very sarcastic, funny dude. You know, that's... But, you know... It is a Banana Republic. The place is not doing very well as far as, like... Everything is concerned. Um... Let's see, what do we do? What do, we do? Anyone who can be a tank and cast meter do my want in my corner. <laughs> and he's awesome for that, too, you know? Totally awesome for that. I mean, he's... He technically is the probably the strongest leader in the game. Almost bar none, he's probably like the strongest leader. Because as soon as he goes up to Super Tyrant, he gains five potent, uh, potency power for his main attack and his critical. So he gains extra attack for that too, plus the ability to do Meteor Doom if you feed him enough magic potions. So I don't know how you can go wrong with him. It's a little different for Grand Edition as to who's stronger, because, uh, I mean, in here, Lance gets a red dot, and in Grand Edition, he gets, Lance gets a green dot. So, Lance, really, as strong as he can get, like, you max out a Lance, Lance is probably one of the best knights to have on your team overall, because his agility, his intelligence, his uh, attack, everything is insanely good. You know, uh, he can outmaneuver people, but it's different, because... Here they sort of neutralize each other, so Drist is kind of a little stronger here, I think. But in um, in Grand Edition, though, because he's a green dot, green loses to red, so Drist can beat him just because of the the red dot alone, just because of that. The Meteor Doom is awesome to have. I mean, you can fr if you have a tank, because that's the problem with Meteor Doom. You don't want to use it half the time because you have to expose yourself. If you want to do it and not hit your own guys. But with Drist. I mean, you know, it's not, that's not a problem. Oh, I don't like this position at all. I wish I could have got the stone golem a little bit higher. All right, let's do that. It's going to suck with Gish here, but I'm going to just work on some monsters for now. I think that's probably the best call. You know? I think it's possibly the best call. You're going to go, Gish. Oh boy. 
That I don't care for. I do not. Alright, how am I going to play this here? Because he's not lined up. No, he's not lined up very well. For some of my stuff. But, yeah, Meter Doom is pretty cool. Having a leader with that is just fantastic. That's that's why I think Driss is technically the best best leader to play as, because you can frontline him. He's like nobody else can frontline like he can. And especially in this game, he's even better in this game because you don't have the uh, surround uh, impairment that you do in Grand Edition. So your agility stays high, and if it just stays ridiculously high, you can dodge bullets like crazy. Oh yeah, this is normal. This is regular Burgundine. The regular Joe. <laughs> We're drinking the regular Joe today, Hill Home. So yeah, man. Uh, but Grand Edition is on Sunday nights for my multiplayer. So if you want to come by for that, I think you've been there before, Hill Home. So yeah, Sunday nights for the Grand Edition multiplayer if you want to see that. I play against some other people. Uh, one person's been knocked out, and now the other two are teamed up against me. So I'm playing as the umpire. And uh, I want, um, you, w you play for points, you know. I'm not sure about this, but I think Driss moves similar to a ranger champion. Yeah, he sort of is. He sort of is a cross between a champion and a berserker. It's kind of like that, because he has, uh, I think, plus 10% critical. And I think Zemeckis says plus 10% counter. I think that's how that goes. If I'm remembering right, I think that is. So... Let's see, how are we going to do this? Well, he's pretty exposed there. The only problem is if I put the Salamander there, I mean, he could get some serious damage done to him with, like, Extra Blast. Well, no, Extra Blast wouldn't hurt him too bad. Uh, he could get a Frost, get a Curse. That's my only worry. But I could go for Gish. It's possible I could try. You know, I could definitely try. I could do this, move Garrett forward... Let's see here. What's a good call? Well, all right. We're going to start like this. Or should I shoot him? Nope, nope, nope. I'm just going to do like this so I can open up some space. Just going to open up some space here, get my Salamander in there, go smash Gish in the face, uh, reposition Garant a little bit, hopefully get my leaders, my healers up there somewhat, and hopefully we'll take out Gish. Good opportunity, no? That Salamander already has a solid attack row there. It does, it does, it's true. I could go for Roll Cod, but let's let's look at the uh, turn here. So 19, 8, 16. Ooh. This could flip a lot. So this could be bad for me. You know? This potentially could be bad for me. you here. I almost want to put you here instead. Um, I think I want to do that. Yeah. Valkos! Hey! Thank you for the boot! <laughs> Means a lot. How are you doing tonight? How's it going? We're gonna watch, um, we're gonna watch a little boxing match here. I think I'm winning. This guy down. So we get this guy out of the way. Yeah, yeah, we're back. We are back at it again. Yeah, so welcome everybody to the stream. Thanks for the boop. Uh, thanks everybody for being here. Uh, thanks for the follows, the subscribes. You know, I don't know if I say it enough, but if I don't, I'm saying it now. So thank you. But uh, we're doing some regular old Brigandine Legend of Forcina. Gonna get through it. Hopefully we'll get Garant to kill here. It'd be nice to give him that. Uh, let's do... You know what? Let's go there. 
do this. I'm going to move in with Garen because I want to get the eye slash working. You know? Oh, hey! Snow! Watch this. I'm from Russia. I recommended you to... Oh, hey, thank you! It looks like your name is Snow. I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, gotta keep this game alive. I've been doing this for years. You know, so there's there's a lot of Brigandine on my channel. I'm gonna finish every single thing Brigandine related and then some. So it's it's almost like I live and die Brigandine in a way. I don't know if you you think that's a good quality or what, but I love I like playing the game, it's a lot of fun. Uh you know what I could actually put pressure on him. I don't see why I shouldn't. Let's put some pressure on this angel. Because there's nothing serious there. I could easily get through there, you know? Well, that sucked. Wait, does that have protect on? Oh, or maybe it's just... Probably just white on white. No, I think it has protect on. Because he did more damage to me. I think so. Unless I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. 24, 105. I guess it equalizes. 190 to 114. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, so I want to get into the fray a little bit. I need to get... 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I can still cure myself from there. That's fine. Uh, let's kill this thing off here. Hey, hey, I talked to one of my younger members at church tonight. She's 13 plays percussion, piano, string bass, and guitar. And I was blown away by that. Wow. Yeah, white on white violence. You know. There we go. Got some points. Okay. We're going to get Garen up to a Shogun, bar none. It will happen. Uh, since you don't need a heal, you got to kill. Let's put your forward somewhere. I think we should possibly... I don't know. I think I could go there. I could definitely do that. Uh, you know what? Actually, this would be a great idea. Go in here. I think. Or back one. Well, I could get the demon too, but no, I'm not really going to focus on the demon anyways. Probably should defend myself from the back, but I'm going to get a breath tag here. Okay? Yeah, it is pretty versatile. Surprised you played some piano for me, and that was enjoyable too. Hello from Russia players. There's three of us. Nice to see the stream on your favorite game. <laughs> yeah, hey everybody, thank you for uh, tuning in for the stream. Hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, go ahead, talk if you want, you know, whatever you want to talk about. I don't mind. Um, I'll tell you what I'm doing with the game, but, you know, I don't mind other conversation because it's, it's kind of nice to uh, have people to talk about the game or whatever. But yeah, let's put pressure on this angel here. I would rather hit the knight, but I don't want... Mm. If I can kill it, then I can stop bombs, I can stop heals and all that stuff, you know? So, I hope you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, if you're from Russia, I hope you can understand it. Uh, but if anything, you understand the game, so that's good. And if you do want to join the website down below, you can. There's a link to it. You can go to the Brigadine website, join it. Uh, there are moderators for it, so it's not a bot site. It's not, it's not for bots. Uh, so people will have to accept you, let you in. Let's see here. Let's go. Mm. I'm going to blind myself up with a breath attack there. I, I don't know if I want to be right there, but... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll go right there. I still wish this game would come out on the PlayStation Store. That's a lot of people keep asking, but the fact is... Um, uh, Atlas basically abandoned this game. So, they were the publishers of the game. 
but they basically, you won't find it on their site. You just won't, you won't find it there. Pretty much they totally just abandoned the whole project, I guess. Like, they don't even want to recognize it. And the fact is, like, you try to look for the developers, they almost don't even exist. I think there's, like, a couple of people you could try to find. And, uh, you know. Well, I hope they don't kill me. <laughs> I don't know if I have magic resist in this version. I know Grand Edition gives you some magic resist. Oh boy. That was bad. Uh, that's still pretty bad. Okay, good. No, no venom on, no venom on the other dude. No venom on Garrett, so might survive it. I hope we do. But I need him here so I can do an ice slash and gish. I need an ice slash gish. I need to do another salamander attack. I can get gish gone. Plus, I position that dragon there to do the same thing, too. So. Yeah, it would be really cool. If they did put it on the PlayStation 4, it would probably be in the PS Plus area. Because I like the... I like Castlevania, Harmony of Despair. It's a really fun game. Harmony of Despair, you're playing as all the different Castlevania characters on different maps and stuff, and you kind of have to just keep playing them, level up and all that. And it's really just meant to just have fun with other people. It's kind of like, uh, well, it's basically a multiplayer Castlevania, you know? So I still have that. Oh boy, here comes the Divine. Oh, <laughs> that's the worst one, the Divine Ray, too. <laughs> Well, Sega owns Atlas now, so maybe they'll do something with it sometime. Maybe they could. You know, it's, I guess it's possible they could. But it's an older game. It's not something that they publish themselves. So they might have the reign over it. Oh, you know what? That could actually be a good thing. Damn. Oh, that's not what I wanted them to do. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, whatever. All right. Let's... Go. Let's go about. I put myself here, but there's a thunder spell potential. There is a Geno Thunder potential, but nobody else can really hit her from there too. So she might get hit by a Geno Thunder, but I don't know if there'll be anything more. It was unfinished. Well, it was unfinished. Grand Edition would be crazy on PSN. Yeah. Is there a group on Twitter? I like to follow the news from all the streamers on this game. And, would, and could you please write? We just have a better understanding of the words. Sorry. Oh, uh, write. Um, the link down below. Uh, you can check out my Twitter uh, feed there too. I have mostly this game and uh, other stuff too. Um, you know, there's the web link down below. All the links down below you're going to see. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, there's a Discord. All right, all right. Let me let me do it. Hold on one second. Yeah, there's all the links there, so you'll find a Twitter, you'll find the Brigadine website, you'll find uh, the Discord, you'll find, you know, everything you need to uh, keep up to date with this game, you know, for me playing a game for stream. So what I'll be doing is uh, tonight and tomorrow, I'll be streaming this game, and then on Saturdays, I'm going to be doing um, Age of Mythology, and then on Sundays, I'll be doing Brigadine Multiplayer. So... All the times, everything is in the description on YouTube and Twitch. So I hope you find everything. If, if something's left out, let me know because, you know, I'm trying to put everything there uh, so you get to see it. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so... Yeah, anything else you want to know, just ask me. I'm pretty available to help out in any way I can. Uh, let's see here. 
Probably should kill off this giant. Or should I move in there? Nope, I, I don't want to stop breath attack with the range that I have right there. So, alright, let's go do this. Oh, and everybody too, the challenges that I have down below, you'll see those as well. Those are given me uh, by uh, followers and subscribers. So I do take challenges from followers and subscribers for playing this game, for playing the Brigandine LPs. So I do, I do do that, and I'll take ones that fit with each other, you know, so I'll do like five different challenges per stream at least, and um, yeah. Let's see if we could... Ooh, we gotta try paralyzing this dragon if we can. So yeah, if you want to give me a challenge that's um, fairly reasonable, I mean, if it's a challenge where it's like, start the game with no nothing and like, you know, do, <laughs> do whatever. Uh, you did, you just forgot. It's all agility based uh, monsters with uh, ninjas. So I'll get to that once I finally get a ninja class and then I'll, work, I'll build a team like that. So, yeah. I gotta wait for that one. <laughs> That's gonna take a while to get to, though. So, I have to... What my plans are is I'm going for a Scalio first. Me and Carleon, we're gonna, you know, be bros, team up, knock out a Scalio right away, and then Carleon's gonna help me on the north, because I need some help there. I don't, I'm not going to have too many teams to start, and Zemeckis is kind of a pain in the butt. So if I can get some help from Carleon, because then I could literally just sit, uh, I could sit Lance on a capital, not have to do anything, defend it, and work with my buddy to knock out the rest of it, you know? <laughs> Phil, yes, exactly, John. I'd rather have a root canal. Well... I like scorpions, you know, and I did uh, save the scorpion fun, you know, in the past. If you want to donate to my channel, I'll save a scorpion, build one, name one after you. And uh, Nick uh, donated a, you know, a bunch, and so he wanted to see a whole scorpion team, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to go name one after him. But it's going to be a little later until I start building that team. It's not going to be, like, immediately. It'll be a little later until I start to build it. I'll probably make a team, and I'll slowly trickle scorpions in until it's strong enough to survive on its own so it'll be like a third or a fourth team that i do and i will test it and i will play as it sometimes but it's gonna be really tough you know that's gonna be a really tough thing but if i get some good high level scorpions i can poison everything under the sun and nothing everything's gonna be super ridiculously poisoned and i'll probably be leading it with possibly Meligant, maybe adelicia maybe Haley some really good knights so that they can kind of, you know, hold up and tank for a bit. But that's going to be... That might be the hardest challenge. I don't know. It's either going to be that or building a talus, because you know how hard it is to get the stone golems to level up all the way. I mean, you, you just know. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to say. Uh, it's, just, it's just not. It really is not. Okay, so 220. Ooh, here's some opportunities here. I see an opportunity. We're going to level up a little bit right there. But yeah, the challenges are down below. If you do want to leave me challenges for the next LP, the only two that I have so far is I'm going to work through all the basic LPs to start. Because uh, I've done all the Grand Edition. All Grand Edition is done so far, as far as a normal LP goes. Um, but I will be going and uh, doing two more. And then we'll have to plan something after that. But the next two is going to be Ascaris Empire and Carleon. So I think what I'll probably do for the next one is the Ascaris Empire. So if you have a challenge for Ascaris Empire, leave it down below. Put it in the Discord link. If you want to go in the Discord and leave it there, you can go there too. Uh, you know, Discord would be easier for me because then I don't have to backtrack through all the videos to find it. You know, then Discord's like, boom, right there. It's easy to, easy for me to see. Alright. Time to die, Mr. Giant. Time to go. Boom! <laughs> Goodbye. Good day, sir. Level 11. There we go. 
Waiting on a team of Max Scorps for ages now. <laughs> Most people won't really take some of these challenges. I take some crazy challenges, really. You know, because I, I, I want to I wanna test myself. I want to put myself to the extreme ability to do whatever I can do, you know. Because I played the game so much, you know, beating it normally, I can. It's, it's pretty easy for me to beat. Even on hard, it hasn't been. Are you kidding me? I don't have the range? Oh, wait. Oh, oh screwing up here. Eye slash is there. And I gotta, I gotta use MP for it too. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting to see if I can kind of outlast this. Okay, so it's 300. Good stuff. All right, can we move up here? We can do that. We can shoot you. Shoot you. I don't know. Almost need to heal her up. Let's see here. Well, I can't have I can't have a giant come in here. That would not work. That would be no bueno. Let's try to dice this guy a little bit. Death of the unicorn. I could, but I have to have something in the front here, you know. And I, I don't know what else I want to put there. I like where the dragon's at. I gotta block this because if the giant comes in here, and tries to hit her, that's pretty much a death sentence, you know. And if I move the dragon up or down, uh, it's just can't fully block her right there. You know, like if this dragon just walked in here, you know, well, she's, yeah, she's not going to do well. No way. Okay, Terror Jaw. My main goal, though, is to take out Gish. I get Gish gone. I can level up everybody pretty easily. I don't have to do too much battle. So that's what I want to get to. I want to get through this very quickly and knock out Gish as soon as possible. Build a team of Scorps with Lane for some time. <laughs> I'm done with, uh, with Leoness. That was my first one that I did for this. So, yeah... It would not be so hard, because he doesn't have enough room to really do much. You know? Max Scorps and Vampire Lords. Now, that would probably be a little better. That might be a little better. I think once I finally get... I think once I finally get some uh, high-level Scorpions, I'll slowly, tr you know, trickle out the other monsters until I can, like, have a good enough team. Because it has to work. If it doesn't work, then there's almost no point in trying it. So a whole team of just regular Scorpions is just... I don't think it's going to work very well, because I'd have to replenish it like crazy. You know, and then I, it's going to take so much time to do that. It's not even funny. Um, and I sort of plan this, too, so this is actually quite nice. <laughs> we can heal up everybody at the same time. Oh, bam! Sorry, Gish, but I've got this covered. I've got this covered, bro. But yeah, I, um, I almost would like to get a Vampire Lord. We'll see if it can happen. Usually I go for, uh, I make a Vampire to D. Oh, the Geno Bolt. He did Geno Bolt on everybody. Because that was the thing he could do. I knew there was a possibility. I knew that they could try to come in here. So I'm trying to block her off so she doesn't get, because I was going to put her here, but she could get Breath Attack from there. And a Breath Attack and a Geno, that would be very really bad. So, I'm trying to play my hands, I'm trying to play my cards just right, you know? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, it's no problem, no problem. But I think we'll be able to get Gish out here right now. I think we have good, I think we got a good chance of that, so. Right after this, I'm going to go replenish. I am low on liquids. A little bit low. Can we kill this thing now? So, yeah. So yeah, if you want to see more of this, come by tomorrow. Uh, I'll be live for a couple hours tonight. And, you know, then I'll probably break. So I usually go for like a couple hours, maybe a little longer. Sometimes I've gone over three hours, but, you know, that just depends. If everybody wants an encore, then I'll go longer. But, <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta let me know if that's what you want to see. So... Ah, we're just gonna kill him. I'm just killing him right now. I'm pretty sure this will do it. At least I hope it does. 
He has protect still, possibly, so we'll see. Oh, would have killed him without protect. Ooh, 32. Thank you, Gish. I was hoping that was a kill. Uh-oh. I gotta be careful with my Salamander. I could lose a Salamander. This is a really risky tactic to do. Because they could, they could either kill the Salamander or kill Gish. It's kind of like uh, sort of a toss-up there. But if I lose a Salamander, I'm not so sad. I mean, I'd like to keep it. I'm gonna have to heal up. Wait, no. Carlotta is not a healer. That's right. Oh boy, that's not good. That is very not good. I have a pink Garant. I hope you like pink Garants, because that's what I have. I don't know if that'll be enough, dude. I can take him out next time. I can definitely take him out, even with that. <laughs> It's getting risky. It's getting very, very risky. But I think we'll handle it. I think we'll be okay. Let's see. So you don't have... Nope, you don't have that. You have Genofrost, though. It should be pretty good to have. I think this is something we need to kind of do. Focus on that, but you know what? I think we need to spread out our love a little bit. Gotta spread out the love. Risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Better be Popeye's biscuit. <laughs> yeah, risk it for the biscuit. Let's do that. Let's definitely do that. Okay, so he's protected still, but... Let's see here. I'm going to reapply a protect spell to him just in case. You know, because he's very important. And the risk... And it does fall off, so the protect still lasts till the next turn. But if you overlap it, the old one will fall off while the new one's on. Let's see here. Oh. Alright. I got a plan. I think it's a good one, too. I won't get to level up Carlotta, but she'll level up no matter what. No matter what I do, she's going to level up. Just because the Geno Frost Mages are so easy to level up if you can get some Geno Frost going. It's like a train. It just it just builds and builds. It's like as soon as you get an archangel, it's just so freaking. It's so ridiculous easy to level up all the way to an arc. Okay, can this do it, please? I hope it can. I want to see this work. Let's see that happen. How's your, how your day? How is your day going today? How did it go? Let me know. Uh, where are we gonna go with you? Let's, I don't know. Let's just basically stick to the basics here. And I hope I can kill off Gish. Mmm. Nothing. Nothing at all. Not a single thing. Oh well. Alright. Turn rolls over. Oh geez, no, that's really bad. Yikes. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I did level up a mandrake though. I got I got a man eater before. And it's really good. Especially here because you don't have the penalty. You know, like, in Grand Edition, green is weak to red. I'm, I'm actually kind of happy you did that instead of instead of doing a Thunder Spell. But, unfortunately, I might lose my Salamander here. Yeah. Oh, I get lucky there. I could still lose a Salamander, though, because Curse might be able to take him down. No, Gish is level 20. So... 
But this was sort of a thing here too, you know, I'm, I'm leaving some tasty morsels for them to wanna, you know, take out and all that stuff. Another heal? Are you kidding me? Come on! Really? Oh my gosh, wow. Alright. I didn't think they'd do it then, but they did. Oh hey, good stuff. You got you got some work going, that's good. Yeah, hopefully I get some work going here soon, but you know, I gotta work on I gotta work on college for a bit. I need to get updated. I need to get updated and all that stuff. I don't wanna jump into something kinda half assed. You know, I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm all I'm all on par, I'm all up to date with so many things. Oh my gosh, did I feel like I, I dodged a bullet there to some degree. Can I go up there? I still can't even go past that. That's not fair. I want to just move up to there. It's not that far. Shoot him in the face. Man, alive. I cannot get him right there. Alright, well... <laughs> Death of the Unicorn time. <laughs> well, it might be that time, but the only problem is he doesn't have any MP left to do anything, so he's kind of useless. But I might have to anyways. It seems like possibly the appropriate thing to do. And then I could push in there with a centaur too, so yeah, that could work. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Let us move. Well, you can't go too far. But you'd be going here. So, let's put you right there. Pump it out. Best elf is here! Yes, you are the number one elf. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? The number one elf is here! Everybody. Okay, if my stone golem hits, we have ourselves a chicken dinner. This world will be winners. Yes! Good! Okay, cool. I've opened up some opportunities for myself now. We've got some definite opportunities coming our way here. I just wish I could get one more in there. Alright, well, let's go there. I could try to put him in an early grave, but... I want to focus on Gish. I want to focus on Gish. I want to get him gone as fast as I can. He is a pain, a serious pain. I can't have that anymore. Come on, it's still... Is he still protected? This... Oh, hold on, let me look. I, I sure hope he's not. Oh, he just has defense. Okay, he's got, he's got good defense. That's, that's the reason. Oh, I don't want to do this to you, but I kind of have to. I'm sorry, Mr. Scorpion. I'm sorry, Mr. Scorpion. I love to say the scorpions, but this could be a bit of a thing that I have to do because then the demon might curse the griffin instead of cursing the salamander. So I'm leaving a little bit of bait here, too. I don't mind losing a few things, but, you know, whatever gets me the win. Usually the first battle you have is the bloodiest when you play this game. Everybody knows that, though. Poor Horsey, I'm calling Pete. <laughs> Call whoever you want. I don't know who's going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might. Who knows? <laughs> Let's see here. I could get Dragon down. Down range. Pooh, Garen is getting wrecked. <laughs> he kind of is. Yes, he is. Doing some work at the end of the day. Oh, you're taking off? Oh. Well, thanks for tuning in, dude. I'll see you later. Uh, who's going next? 16? Ooh, this could be... This could be bad. But if I go in front, I could survive. But then he hits me with a spell, and then he tries to... Uh, well, he can't go there. That's blocked off. He can't go... Here. I could try a venom. They could try a venom spell at this point. This could lose me the battle if I if I lose there though. I'd love to do some damage here, but I I don't know. 
I'm a little too low at the moment, and if he flips his way and he does what he does a venom and he does a spell, I could literally lose this. It would just be bad form for me to push it like that, you know. So let's just back up one space. Oh, I go. I could have went, but yeah, a lot of people here are streamers. <laughs> almost, almost everybody. <laughs> I should have went. I should have attacked him. Dang it. I can't do it. I, I can't. Not much else I can do, though. Okay, so let's see here. So, he could still hit me, but he can't hit me too hard. He could hit me with a spell, which would kill me. Um, I have a conundrum. I kind of have a conundrum here. Where's my number two? Okay. Should I tag him a little bit? It doesn't look right for me to just, you know, get destroyed like that. He could still do another spell on me and kill me. It's it's very possible. So, I mean, that could still happen, but I gotta see what other options I have. So, I have... Ooh, that's going at that point in time. I got it. I might have to literally back out of this, because they could still curse me to death. Um, let's see here. You know what? I probably should just... I'm going to have to play it safe. If I do want to save my stuff, it's just going to be foolish for me not uh, to do whatever I want to do, you know? Yep. So... Yeah, almost everybody that streams likes to come to my channel. <laughs> so, <laughs> always have tons of people here doing that. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know. This looks like a foolish thing to, to, to stay here for that kind of stuff. But, yeah. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to put you back here. We're going to start with some flame, but I'm going to put the dragon in place. So, they can't kill you off. I'm going to put you downwind. I'm going to stop that. going to heal up Garrett. Garrett's going to stay alive. And we'll try to do a reverse tactic here. Because with that flipping of Ragunas, you know. Yeah. I feel a little safer this way. A little bit safer. Let's see here. Should I? What I could I? Well, I can move up there. Could do that. Get the dragon, knock this thing out. Then number two goes. And number two goes. No, I might have to do it like this. Might have to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Elf. Thank you very much. It's very calming when I did some of the other stuff when I was uh, streaming earlier. We were like, you should do ASMR. And I was like, what is ASMR? And they're like, oh, it just, you know, makes people fall asleep. I'm like, well, thank you. At least my voice is good enough to help you go to sleep. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to think, of, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? All right. But I guess people like it. But thank you. Thank you for liking my voice. At least you're not saying it's it's the kind of voice that makes you go to sleep. No, that's not necessarily what I want to do. Okay, good. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Before I lay waste to you and all your puny army. I really wanted to kill Gitch, but they just made it so difficult for me. Uh, and then I can't I can't even kill him either. They have one dragon I could do. Ooh, I could level her up. I really could too. Let's see here. So one. How much do I have left? Just those two? Okay. I'm gonna go claw him in the back. I'm gonna I'm gonna scratch him to death a little bit. Let's scratch him a little bit, give him a well. It'd be funnier if they showed it from the actual angle. Like, you come to attack him in the back, you just, he's turned around and... 
<laughs> he's like, Ugh! and then, then he turns around. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I really wish I could hit Gish right now. Just a, it was just a little too risky to do all that stuff, you know? Just a little too risky. Frost. Nice, cold, frosty. Death to the dragon. Yes, death to the dragon. It shall be gone in a hot minute. Or, no, that's the wrong way to say it. I still never know how long a hot minute is. Because another friend uses that, and... He technically means like three hours to a day. So I don't know if he's just saying it wrong or doing it wrong. I don't know what it is. All right, guess you will meet to the end of my pixie stick. I think. <laughs> my gemfire days always make me back attack on this game. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it'll be longer than a hot second. I'm not from the East Coast, so the East Coast is like, you know, they're they're all about that. Like, they've got their uh, idiosyncrasies. Uh, what? Wait, what's the word? I think I'm saying it wrong. Anyways, hot minute is shorter than a hot hour. Yes, yes, definitely. And it felt like when he, you know, went away, he wouldn't show back up. It was more like a, a hot month or something like that. Dude, hot minute doesn't mean what you think it means. Even though I don't really know what it means, I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean what you think it means. All right, so we got some levels. That's good. That was uh, a little tricky. I, I wish I would have known the turn order a little better, like if I didn't flip. Because if I would have flipped and Ragoonis would have went first, he could have definitely killed off Garrett with a flame attack, a venom attack, and that would have been that, you know. Ah. <sighs> I love my tactic strategy games. Comes from Gemfire and Romance, the Kingdom series. I'd say Romance is pretty good. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. It's been a long, it's been a hot minute since I played Romance, though. You know what I mean when I'm saying, though. <laughs> I haven't seen Glaws lately. Maybe I should go visit him. Ooh, good. Uh, is this my opportunity here? Uh, it could be. What? The gal? Hold on. Where the hell is the gal? Oh my gosh. Okay. One second. Turin's my boy on Gemfire. Yeah? That's cool. Here, let's, uh... Let's see what to do here. So... Where is the gal? The battles took like an hour or more each because they ran so slowly. Yeah, battles in uh, a lot of older games like this run a little slower paced. I think it's something that you don't see a lot in the newer games. Everybody wants like complete RTS, complete freedom, freedom of something, and everybody wants everything to be like Fortnite where you're getting smaller, you know, shrunk down in a circle <laughs> until everybody's forced to fight each other. I don't know. I, I've seen uh, Call of Duty. I was thinking about getting it, but I, I saw that and I'm like, I don't really... I, I'm more of a domination player or a team deathmatch player for that type of stuff. Uh, I don't like being forced into a circle. You know, I, I like to run around and all that, but that's just my preference. Okay, let's... Okay, so Gail's here. She is in the wrong castle. <sighs> well, thanks for coming to save me, but the princess is in the other castle. So, let's move her over here. We'll get her situated. We'll play a defensive card for a second. Um, I'm gonna have to move everybody else over here, though. So I need some defense. So we can move down there. I think we're gonna go questing a little bit here. Gilsus can go quest. So we'll have him on the quest duty. We're going to quest out Batarchus. Let's check out the equipment. I think we actually got some equipment here, so let's do that. Um, ready then. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's, that's really good. 
Oh my gosh, that's really good. Do we have a sword for him? I don't think we do. Oh my gosh. He has a white attack and the MP to do... Oh, that's good. That's really good. That'll be great for you, bro. Bro? Alright, so we need 30 points here. Hold on. Well, there's only like... You can only summon pixies anyways, you know? Where is anyone? We have lost where everyone is. Panic. That's a part of the challenge. Check out the description. Link's in there. There's five challenges in there. I could describe them all night. Uh, but one of them is um, not to use Lance until he's king. So, I have to work on Escalio. Then I have to go up to uh, the Empire, take over Lagares, and work with Carleon to knock him out. Whoever kills him, I, I guess. I guess Carleon has. I guess it doesn't matter who, who kills the Empire. But I have to be standing on the castle of Lagares with Lance to get the king, and then we start moving from there, and then we start building up ninja stuff. So to do this the fastest way, I need to get Carleon to work with me. You know, Norgard could do it too. But I don't have the greatest confidence they're gonna, you know, get it done. They could, but it's very random. I, I just, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, so let's order a 30 point buck. Right here. Perfect. Let's get a little pixie. We're gonna quest Cole, and then we're gonna go back to fighting and all that stuff, because Cole's gonna get gloss for me. If I get gloss. Oh, that's a godsend. Let's see here. I don't really like the team too much, but at least it'll, you know, at least it'll be somewhat supportive. Okay, so Lance is there. They're on your side. That's pretty good. The Gale's going there too. I think I have to build... I have to fix this team. This team's broken a little bit. I fix that. I think it's going to camel forward. I'm going to be giving up a castle, but I only really have two armies I can build at the moment, you know. And I don't want to lose my space. So... Let's see what we can do. Alright, so that is almost good. Let's see, that's 70. That's 60. That's 75. 85. Can't go down there. What do I have here? The Griffin? That's 55 too. Kinda sucks. Let's let's try to fix this somehow. Uh, it's 20 points. I can't do that. Can I do this? Uh, almost. Nope. Much. Let's do. That's 65, but that's still like 10 over. I want to try to get it right on the money if I can. Alright, so let's do. Just that for now. I'm thinking right now. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I could do that. We got 15 points to fill there. Oh, that's so hard. Um, that's all 55 though. I'm 
just give me up to 75, which actually kind of works, but still I've got 10 extra points to get. <laughs> this hard is okay. No, I'm just, usually I can like think through this really quickly, but for some reason right now I'm just, I'm not that on, I'm not that on par at the moment, so you have to forgive me, but let's, uh, hold on, let's see. So I've got 10 there, and I've got 105 there. Let's do something with that. So let's at least get the 105 points. Do I have healers? Do I have enough healers here? I've got one healer. Okay, we gotta get some healers then. Because that wasn't very good. That was that was a little hard that last time, so let's see. 105, so I can get two unicorns. It'll leave me 40 points. Well, that's still not good. Well, that's better than I think. Yeah, that's probably maybe this is just the best. Best I can do for now, I think. It'll give me 25 points left that I can't do anything with. <laughs> okay. Unless I can organize this. Let's see if we can uh, change this around. I might be able to. Maybe. Okay, so that's 15. Ooh. Oh, no, I don't think that's going to work. It almost kind of works, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. All right, get a 30-pointer there. Get a protect spell. Boom, we're done. Okay. Now we can go out and do some battle. So, we'll go out and do one more battle. I mean... People say Encore, we'll keep going, but <laughs> I'll do one more battle at least and make some, you know, some decent progress today. You know, it's the beginning. It's the first first episode for today, though. So I think I, I think we made some good progress, you know. Oh my gosh, why did I not do that? Or was she not expert yet? I don't know. Either way, now she can do some heals. I love how the MP does not change at all there. That's... <laughs> It's a little cool here, and in Grand Edition it's a little hard, because sometimes you make these choices, you lose like 80 points of MP, you know, if you flip between classes. You know, you still get to gain the abilities, but they like, the way that they balance the system, it's, uh, it fluctuates, you know, really well. Oh, what am I doing? I should have done this too. Alright, let's see here. Yep. Now I've got versatility. Ah, I've just been talking up a storm. Hope you don't mind. I tend to do that. So, 19, what do we got? 946 to go. Yeah, looks like a great team. Unfortunately, I have to quest Cole. So, we'll be a little weak. Uh, let's see how this looks here. Let's, let's get this quest started. And... Let me just, I just want to look and see what this looks like here. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Miguel, Carlotta, Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. I think this should be fine, you know? Nice to meet you, Philbert. Gotta save some lives tomorrow and get to sleep early. Okay, hey, thanks, John Martin. Thanks for joining in the stream. Thanks for chatting. Uh, hope you have a good night. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow, too. I'll be same time live streaming tomorrow. So if you want to come by for that, you can uh, have a cool talk and conversation and all that stuff. So, yep. Let's see. Brusome isn't doing anything. Yeah, Brusome's not doing anything for me here. Let's, let's get him out of here. What you doing? Alright. So we got him going. I think everything else is still pretty set. Gotta push some stuff. I'm gonna build up Lance's team, but I want something good. I don't know if I'm gonna start with Lance with Scorpions. I think he's a little too weak for that. Uh, maybe Batarkus, possibly. Batarkus, Haley, and some other stuff, but I need to give Lance some decent stuff. He's He's gotta get some good stuff. So 220. Let's at least summon something for him right now. Two dragons, and then I have 70 left. I get hmm. two dragons and a centaur. 
or two dragons and two centaurs. And that'll be good. So, yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out as long as you have, you know. If you got any questions or anything, there's links down below to Brigadine website you can join. Uh, there's a really cool guy there uh, named Jake Armitage that's, you know, doing amazing work. I mean, even Valkos does, you know, some stuff there too. Uh, and some other people there too. So there's, there's moderators, but um, he's the one that's usually accepting a lot of people. And there's other moderators too, so whenever they get the chance, they they get on there, they accept people. Um, and I get there every day I can, so, you know, I'm doing that too myself. That dude is loyal. <laughs> loyal to a fault. Uh, so, yeah. You know what? You know what? Yeah, let's, let's get a gym. Might as well get a gym for this team. We'll do the scorpion challenge later in the game. I mean, I will build them up, but I need a decent team. I need three teams. Third team has to be decent, and then I'm slowly going to build up that third team with scorpions. That's, that's probably the plan. So, Nick, wherever you are, I hope you will enjoy this. Because I know you really wanted that. And this is the one of the best opportunities to do it to. So... All right, Lance has got a decent team. That's pretty good. Let's make sure. Let's make sure location's all right. So we go back to Dorsa. Right, so that looks nice. Camel Ford will be fairly well protected now. I'm gonna have to. I don't know. Probably defend from the Empire. I'm thinking. Okay, execute that. I'm gonna go ahead and save this up. You know, actually, I might... I don't know. Ooh, he's waiting for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Now I don't have a great team here because Cole's on leave. Oh, uh, I could probably still win because I have the Salamander and all that, but... Oh, man. Okay, let's go ahead and save it up. We'll get Cole. And we'll march on I might end with a defensive battle. That could end up happening, you know. So we'll see, you know, we'll see. Alright. Execute the attack. Well, no defensive there, but. Kirlion's invading Salisbury. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job, Kai. Good job. I just need to get there so I can move over. I'm probably gonna have to move around. I'm probably gonna have to move up to Carnaboon and all the way down and all that stuff. So, look at this. <laughs> Two knights, they didn't have anybody left though. Whoa, whoa. Wow. That is a lot of change of hand. It's Officer Glazen. King Cole, thank you for coming all the way here. Please come in. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been worried about you. Are you feeling all right? I'm sorry to have worried you. I was not happy with the way... I was not happy with the way how things were. You must be talking about Prince Lance. Yes. Please forgive me, but I don't understand how you could have given this country to a young man like him. Plus, I know how, you, how loyal you are. Do you remember what happened to your father? He was trapped on my land, but he never stopped being loyal to this country. I was very impressed by that. That is why I accepted your family on my land. Loyalty is the most important virtue of a knight. However, it's important to know who one should be loyal to. This is so one can avoid the biggest mistake of their life. King Cole. I'm getting old, and unfortunately my son is not qualified to be king, even with his excellent swordsmanship. And you think that boy, Prince Lance, is qualified? I don't know yet. But if you saw his eyes, you would understand what I'm getting at. You would see the potential power he might have. Potential power. Yes, it's about time for an old man like me to retire. Gloss, you know what is happening on the continent, right? Prince Lance is determined to fight for the restoration of this continent. You must act according to what you think is right to do as a knight. I understand. I will place my trust in Prince Lance. I will extend my loyalty to him. Okay, let's go. By the way, 
You don't need to address me as king anymore. Very well. Okay, we got through some dialogue. <laughs> My throat cleared up. Yes. All right, let's get through this. Gain intelligence points. Yay. Not a big deal. Okay, great. Great. What? Googly moogly. Get your butt over there, Cole. I need you now. I need you now more than ever. Don't keep questing these two. Uh, I don't need them at the moment. Uh, we could probably build a team, but I think once I finally get pushing a little bit, I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna get a good team solidified here, and then push out with my secondary team wherever I... wherever I choose to, I guess. So, alright, so that's how that happened. Let us execute. <laughs> I need you now. <laughs> I need you now more than words can say. Please don't leave me. I love you so much, Cole. <laughs> Alright, so here's the domain. Let's let's check this out and see what happened here. Carleon's doing good. This is this is nice to see. My problem though is I have to like go up and around this little hill now to go around him. But I will be soloing with Garyant for a while. So we're gonna go down, take over Aston, and Actually, maybe I'll work a third team at that point and then leave the third team on possibly Aston and move around in there to take out Escalio. Yeah, because I can't let Carleon push too far into the ass. I need them to be situated where they're only pointing north. That's what I need. So I need to sit on Aston like, you know, I don't know what to describe it as, but I have to do it. So, alright, that's looking pretty good. Alright, you are so good, good, good. Execution. We gotta wait on the attack here. Scalio has invaded Salisbury. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's definitely what I thought. Okay, Soothsayer with cards. What do we get? What do we get? Hermit cards, that's hit points, I think. Right? Pretty sure it's hit points. Intelligence points, okay. Doesn't really help me much. Not at all. Oh no, you're gonna blow up? Oh, we got intelligence points! Okay, this is intelligence questing here. Uh, you're gonna get... I don't know what it was. <laughs> The speed of this game is a little faster than Grand Edition. Which is nice if you want to fly through it. Mithril Spear? Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Time to give him some stuff. There we go. Uh, nobody can use a brave little hammer right now, so we'll leave that to the side. Uh, I didn't get any items, I don't think. I don't, know, I, I don't think I did. Okay. I think that's all there is to it. Uh, you guys can keep questing for a while until I feel the need to use you. Alright. Uh, is my team set up here? I think they're set. Yeah, they're set. All right, execute. All right, let's see. Is Caster here? Nope. Oh man, this is gonna be a fun fight. All right, so I think I'm gonna start the fight up, get it close to the fight scene, and we'll start up tomorrow with the actual fight. So it's not too, too long of a stream, you know. It's been a while for me. I don't know if I have the energy to go the whole way. I might, but... Uh, yep. Oh, that's right. They took over... <laughs> I was like, how are they there? They took over... They took over Jukes. So they got over there. Scalio's invading again. Aww. That's sad. 
but it could be a good opportunity for me if I get to go first after the next turn. All right. This is going to be interesting. Kador! Garrett. That skull mask. I'll never forget it. I'll kill you for what you did to our king. Haha. <laughs> you really think you can kill me? That's funny. I guess your appearance is not only corrupted, but your soul as well. I don't know if you are trying to intimidate your enemies with that mask, but it only makes me laugh. Knight fights with his soul. You have already lost your soul. Okay, fine. Shall we try and see if your observation is right or not? That's a good idea. Let me show you the real spirit of a knight. Haha. <laughs> you actually think you can defeat me with that in your mind? I kind of wish I could have done the voice for Kador. I think, I think I could have done it pretty well. I really wish I would have. Wish I would have known about it at the time. I would have probably been a part of the project if I could have. Anyways, we're gonna get into the. We're gonna get to the start of the battle, and I think tomorrow we'll get to see it because it's taken me some time to get some things moving here. quite some time actually I thought I'd get a little you know a little further ahead but the 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 Gloss quest kind of held me back a little bit I probably would have been more into the fight if I didn't have the Gloss quest it was very important to get him as fast as possible you know then you can get a, a okay team working get on the road get on the road babe let's move it Maybe I should kill off Ragunas. You think so? I'm kind of thinking so. support up there. I don't have enough support down here. Let's put you over there so we can at least get some doggies and stuff. Some doggies will be coming pretty soon. Uh, King Cole could do power spells here, which would be fantastic. That'll be a lot of fun. Get the Stone Gama on the front lines. It'll be nice. Okay. We're going to start seeing a little bit of battle. And then uh, as soon as I get my turn, we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. And that's going to have to do it for today. But yeah, this game's a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun. Uh, sometimes I kind of like this better than chess. Chess is fun, but there's way more to this game. I mean, there's... Because there's, in chess, you have so many possibilities to do so many moves with so many pieces. This game, you have way more possibilities of moves. There's just way more to do. You know, but I still love to watch it. I'll still play chess, you know, at times. Um, this is just more, more my style, more complex. More complexity. <laughs> this is perfect. I can finally... I can level up the Stone Golem off of them. Ooh, thank you for throwing me that boo in there. Am I going to clobber this guy? It's clobbering time! <laughs> we got to name him. Okay, so next time we start up, remind me, I got to name some of these uh, monsters after the people that came in the challenges. So thanks for the challenges. You know, everybody, too. If I didn't say that, but, you know. here. How else can I get that wizard? I have to figure something out here. 
So I can't just do this. I need to do more damage than that. So I'm going to have to get something repositioned on the north. Moving my dragon. Uh, I might have to move my dragon. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, breath attack. I'm going to have to pull back. Or go north. Oh, you know what sucks is going north. I'm going to be hitting those hydras. And Kador's going to be out there too. So... Yeah, that's not going to be great. Closer's Divine Ray there, too. Hmm. It's going to be a tough battle. We'll come back for a pretty tough battle, actually. He's got, to, like, I don't know if you see it, but I'm seeing it. Like, he's got, he's got a pretty good opportunity to swing the Hydras north, attack the Salamander, whatever they want there. They'll have an advantage there. And Kador over there, too. That'll be advantageous as well. Because uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they swing it around here. So if I leave him out there, he could get hit up pretty good. And I'm, I don't have a good heal for him unless I move the, this guy forward. So I could pull him back. I don't know. I could pull him back and put the dragon right in the front. Uh, maybe I'll do that. And I can breath attack through them twice, do a power attack. Um, the Salamander to burn him down a little bit more. I do have the centaurs here too, so we'll have to figure out how we're going to play with this, but I'm going to go ahead and save it up here. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the stream so far. Uh, we got a lot more work to do though. A ton of work. Ton, ton, ton. Yeah, thanks Hillholm. Thanks everybody for being here, you know. Uh, We'll be here tomorrow, so hopefully you tune in tomorrow too. We get to see this battle and more battles that you know going to take place. We're going to get into some of the challenges and stuff uh, that we can't actually do initially, but um, we'll get through the whole thing. Alrighty, that's all I gotta say. So thanks everybody for being here. Have a great night. Uh, tune in next time, same Brigadine time, same Brigadine channel. And uh, have a good night. And I'll hopefully talk to you tomorrow. And if you do want to come for the multiplayer, it's on Sunday nights. So I'll see you then. Have a good one. Thanks for watching for Asti Trigger. If you did enjoy this content, please leave a like. And if you want to join Team Trigger, please subscribe or follow me on Twitch. See you later, Space Cowboy.